Diabetes medications are often used for off-label purposes, and they're now being studied for neurodegenerative disorders. Why? Because of their ability to address different aspects of the metabolic system, like inflammation and a protein called amyloid, which are also implicated in brain diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. So the mainstream's hope is that these drugs can tamp down systemic inflammation by helping to control blood sugar while slowing progression of these debilitating diseases. Hallelujah! This is the same concept I've been discussing for decades. Could they finally be understanding the effects of chronic inflammation and excess sugar on the body? While we're still early in the game, I think looking at what we already have, like Ozempic, and seeing if we can use it in a different way is a great idea. After all, we have so many neurological disorders that we're quite bad at treating that it's really high time for us to look anywhere and everywhere to help the aging population. Because any success of these drugs being used for neurodegenerative diseases could lead to a big payoff. It'll be interesting to see where this research lands. But in the meantime, leading a healthy lifestyle is your best defense at keeping high blood sugar, inflammation, and a host of diseases at bay, neurodegenerative or not. That includes indulging in a delicious whole foods diet like my very own A-list diet, exercising regularly, and prioritizing good quality sleep each night. Until next time, I'm Dr. Fred.